Hey everyone, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Gemini for June of 2019. I have a couple announcements. First of all, if you don't know me, I am a spiritual empowerment coach and healer, and I help women empower their lives through divine guidance and spiritual practices. Um, I am giving away the 12 free tarot card readings like I do every month. So if you want a free reading from me, all you have to do is, oh boy, um, <clears throat> all you have to do is comment below. You could say, I want a reading. Uh, you can let me know how the reading resonates, how you like the Reiki, because we will be doing energy healing at the end of this reading. So stay tuned to get the healing that comes along with the messages. Okay. Um, also, big announcement, I am doing a challenge in the month of June, starting June 10th, okay, um, to three days to increase your intuition. I asked you guys what challenge you wanted. You let me know about half of you said the intuition. So we are going to do that starting June 10th. So the link is in the description as well as in the comments below to join that. Okay. So get on that. Um, you can join the Facebook group. You don't have to be in Facebook, but you can join it and get to know each other, um, until it starts. All right. So let's get to this Gemini, 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 Gemini. All right. Oh, I just, I just want to say like, when are you going to see it? When are you going to see it? When are you going to see it? The devil card came out for the overall energy of June. This is my narcissist card. Anytime this shows up, it's telling me that there's toxic, manipulative people around you. When are you going to see it? And when are you going to trust your intuition? Right? That challenge is going to be amazing for you guys. So please, please join that challenge because... I just feel as though you keep doubting what you already know. You keep doubting and you keep making excuses for this person that is manipulating, this person that is draining your energy. You want to be the good person. You are a good person. But being a good person doesn't mean you let people take advantage of you. It doesn't mean that you keep trying to help people that don't want to be helped. That's what this devil card is saying to me in here. And there is a new beginning coming for you in June. So let me finish these cards and we're going to continue that. But I feel for you guys, I feel like these readings have always been, I just feel like you're stuck. I feel like you're stuck where you are. And it's because of the thoughts that are going on in your mind. It's the thoughts that, you know, it's, it's not real. Like what you're thinking is not real, that it's you. If you could change you, you're going to change that, right? I just, <laughs> I just actually read my journal from two years ago on, in my Facebook group, Dee's Divine Guidance VIP. And it was all about that. It was like, why do I stay? Why do I stay? You know, but maybe if I change myself, I can change my marriage. If I change myself, I can change this relationship. Well, let me tell you, it doesn't work. If the other person isn't going to change as well, Things could get a little bit better, but it's not going to be as great as you want. It's like having a shattered glass. It's shattered, right? Now you could put a broken glass maybe back together, but when it is shattered, when your trust is shattered, when your self-worth is shattered, when all of that stuff is shattered in a relationship, okay? And this isn't supposed to be a relationship, but we'll, we'll just go with it. Just remember it's general. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. When you put that shattered glass back together, there's going to be holes, right? You're going to get liquid pouring out of that glass, maybe drip by drip, maybe some like a lot, but there's going to be holes. You can't put a shattered glass back together. And that's what we're getting to with this 10 of swords. So let me go into this. So the first week here, ace of wands, three of pentacles, 10 of swords, and the king of cups. For some of you, I feel like you have, you're having a new beginning here. And for some of you, I feel like you need to join my Divine Empress Club in order to have this new beginning, right? I'm putting this out hopefully by the end of May. So therefore, it's still $1 to join for the first month. So get on that. If not, get on it anyway. But a new beginning and something you're working at to release what has basically shattered you inside, killed you inside, for some of you, I don't even think you know who you are anymore because you're so busy trying to appease other people, to please them, to get them to accept you, right? You have so much love to give. You have so much love to give, okay? But stop the doubting. Listen to that intuition that's calling you because all of these cards coming your way are 
freaking fantastic. But if you let the doubt and you let this person or the situation, could be a job for some of you, could be exes for some of you, could be like co-parenting, whatever it is for you, however it resonates with you, whatever toxic situation or person that's around you that is draining your energy. If you keep letting them do what they are doing to you, you're already shattered. You can put yourself back together, right? You can put that yourself, your self-worth, you can find who you are again. And that's what this is about. Coming in the middle of June here, I feel like the Ace of Wands here is about making the decision. I also did this video on Facebook. Making the decision. When you make the decision, right, it, you have to make the decision for change. You have to make the decision. If we just keep going, oh, well, we want this, we want this, we want this, but we don't make a decision, you know what? This is the time. I'm doing it right now. Once you make the decision, but the decision isn't enough, you make the decision and then you take action. I want my life to change. I want this person out of my life. I don't want to feel this way anymore. I don't want to feel like I don't matter. I don't want to feel like I'm going crazy. I just want to be loved. But sometimes that love comes from us first, right? Comes from you first before other people can love you because you have to have that love for yourself. Seven of Pentacles, the fool, yes. Four of Cups and the Three of Wands. Guys, I mean, come on. This is about your life. This is about the long term. I can't even think of the word. It, it's about the long, long term thinking here, right? It's not about what's happening today. It's about how is this going to create the life that I want? How is this going to today? where I am, situation, person, people around me. How, are the, how is this helping me manifest the life that I want? And you're going to realize that most of you, some of it can stay, but some of it's got to go. And that fool card there is about taking that leap of faith, taking the leap of faith of trusting your intuition, of trusting that you deserve more, trusting that the life that you envision is possible. You can manifest it but you're not going to manifest it with this type of energy around you because you're too busy. And this is what I'm going to talk about in the challenge. You're too busy in your head, right? So how can you start to move forward? Because that's what you're going to do. The four of cups to me is all about like meditation, spiritual practices, which again is what I do, but it, it's all about taking the time for you, taking the time for you to get your energy back to where it needs to go to look at the future and let whatever the hell is in the past stay in the past. But to see this gleaming, gleaming white light that shows the future for you, right? So how do we get there? How do we get there? You let go of toxicity. You let go of the people and situations that are making you feel left out in the cold, making you feel like you don't matter making you feel like you're crazy, making you feel like you're unlovable, that nobody's ever going to want to be with me, right? Letting, let go of the idea that maybe you can't get the job that you want. You got to let go because look at the card that comes next and it's the 10 of cups, followed by the two of pentacles, followed by the queen of pentacles. Once you let go of the things that don't make you feel good, and you start trusting that intuition and you take that leap of faith to connect to your higher self, right? I teach the tarot and the, the fool is the first card in the major arcana and the major arcana is a journey. Once you show the universe that you're ready and you take that first step by joining me in the challenge, by, you know, coming into the divine empress club to heal what's happening here, to let go of this, to have support in letting go of something like that. When you take the first step, invest in yourself, Make choices for yourself. Start taking your aligned action. You are showing the universe that, holy crap, they're ready. Let's do this. We've been waiting for this, right? That two of pentacles. And you start, again, this is to me for, in this one is like aligned action. When you start to take the action and do multiple things that you've never done before, right? This is the energy that you get, that queen of pentacles. You don't have anything to worry about because you know you're manifesting your future. You know you're manifesting every single day what you want your life to be. 
You're not going to have to worry about scraping for pennies to pay the bills at the end of the month. You're not going to have to worry about finding your soulmate. You're going to attract them, right? So just know that when you take that leap of faith, when you finally decide to let go of this, and believe me, all the cards are showing, look at what this person or situation does to you. Who the hell wants to feel like that? When you let go, because I feel, I still feel like you guys will move forward, but then move back. You'll try, you get, you get empowered, you get ready to go, but then you move back. You need support, you need help with it, okay? You need help, you need accountability for someone to say, hey, uh-uh, there's no going back. There's no going back, all right? So let's go ahead and do some energy healing with this. And I I'm getting the intention here to go into this with, it's okay to let it go. It's okay to trust the unknown. There's so much more that's ready for you and you can't see it, but it's there. All you have to do is let go of what's no longer serving you, what is draining your energy, what is keeping your mind so crazy and, you know, sporadic and just thinking and thinking and thinking and going, right? That's what we're going to go in with the intention is it's okay to let it go. Nothing is going to harm you. Nothing is going to you know, the, every single possible bad thing that you can think of is not going to happen. It's not going to happen because you're making the choice to better yourself. I will pull some cards through this, so make sure you stay to the end to see the message. Um, yeah, so if you've never done this with me before, I'm going to connect the divine energy to your energy. So you're basically just going to close your eyes and listen to some music. It's very relaxing. You could, um, yeah, go in with the intention of knowing that it's time. It's time. It's time to let it go, guys. It's time to finally freaking take the last step. Let it go and don't look back. All right, so when you get ready, you can either sit up or lay down. You can close your eyes. So get in your comfortable space and close your eyes. And take a deep breath in. And whatever thoughts come in, just let them come in and let them flow out. Here we go.
go ahead and take a deep breath in. And let it out. And take another deep breath in. Just give your body a nice little stretch. And let that out. Okay. Hopefully that felt good for you. Nice and relaxing. Um, let me know how you felt throughout that session in the comments below. Um, the cards that I pulled here was the judgment card. And when I pulled this, the message that I was getting was that it's time to let go of your, this is judgment for yourself, guys. Please be aware and please look into how much you're judging yourself, how much you're like hating on yourself, how much you're, you're denying yourself the happiness that you can have because you don't think that you're good enough, that you don't think that you can do it, that you don't think that you're going to be okay on your own. You don't think that you're going to be accepted for a job. Just judgment of any mistakes that you've made in the past. That's what I'm getting here for you. And to let that burden go, you got the 10 of wands, just let it go, right? Well, then, yeah, how do I do that? Well, you just accept that we're human and that we make mistakes that every mistake that you have made, it's now time to learn the lesson that came along with it. And when you can learn the lesson that came along with the mistake, you can let go of the mistake that you made. Because first of all, you didn't know better. Second of all, you didn't think you were any better, right? So you do what you do from the mindset that you're in. But now is the time to change it. Now is the time to take that jump, take the leap to trust your intuition. You know what you need to do in your life to make it better. It is now time to take the steps to do it, okay? Release the burden, release the judgment that you have on yourself. This is not your fault. Whatever situation you're in right now is not your fault. It comes from your past. It comes from things that have been placed on you, expectations, limited beliefs. It is not your fault. Let it go. I hope that helps. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, please join me in the challenge. It's a free challenge. Three days to increase your intuition, to live that life of alignment that you're looking forward to, um, to really connect to your higher self. All right. The link again is in the description and comments below. Um, and if you want to join the Divine Empress Club to chat with me so I can help you through whatever you're going through, um, it's live, it's video. We get to see, chat each other. Um, that also is in the description box below. Much love to all of you. Keep strong and realize that it is time. If it's not now, when is it going to be? Stop putting it off. Much love. Bye.